Join us for a look at Aroma, a scent-based board game. Let's start with a thank you to Organic Aromas for sending us a review copy of their game. Aroma was designed by Odd Hackwelder, who also did the artwork for the game. It was published by Organic Aromas on, in 2020, originally only available on their website, but now also on Amazon. Aroma features four different mini games in the box, each of which takes under an hour, with some taking significantly less than that. Now, the game requires either two, three, or four players, each of the games. Each should, these players should be at least 14 years of age due to this game coming with concentrated essential oils, which could cause a reaction if ingested or put directly on the skin. Aroma has an MSRP, I guess it's MSRP, they are selling it for $58 US. And we'll talk more about the price point of that game later on. Now, each of the four games of Aroma is, of course, based around using your sense of smell to try to identify the various essential oils in the game. Now, the games include Discover, which is kind of like a smell-based game of Liar's Dice, Survive, which is a last man standing game where players' scents represent their health, Resolve, which has all players trying to identify the same scents one after another, and Collect, where players are trying to collect the scents of one of the four scent types. Now, each of these games also features a unique mini game for determining start player, which I thought was a cool touch. I do have to give a thumbs up for gamifying start player and not mm. using something like the last person who sniffed a lilac plant or something equally annoying to me. <laughs> now, for a look at what you get with a copy of Aroma, check out our unboxing video on YouTube. Now, I get into a full summary of all the components over on the blog, but for here, I just want to feature a couple specific things. So the rules are a fold-out sheet with lots of artwork and examples. Um, I do feel they may have been translated to English just because they have some odd word usage. It's not enough that we couldn't figure out how to play or what we were doing, but a couple of things was you had to read a couple of times. It's just things weren't quite in the right order or use some obscure words. Now, while the founder of the company is apparently Chinese, uh, the company is fully U.S. based. Yeah. Now, other components include thick cardboard boards, one for each of the four scent types, reference cards listing all the scents, a business card for each scent included in the game, wooden pieces in four colors, including a large token in cubes, and a number of aroma tokens in four colors that list all the different scents. Then, of course, are the essential oils themselves. These come in four... Uh, thin card trays with five scent bottles each in each of the trays. There are four different categories of scents, citrus, trees, floral, and plants. And there are five scents for each category, and I'm not listening to those here. Now, the small scent bottles use a roller system that prevents any leakage, so you don't have to worry about, like, capping them up good. Um, to use these, there are also a number of paper strips included. And when you're meant to smell a scent, what you should be doing is shaking the, the bottle then rolling some of the scent onto the paper to smell. Note these oils are strong. The scents from them will fill the room you are playing. In. If you or anyone in the area is sensitive to scents, you just want to avoid this game. Now, this should also be considered when playing in a public place. And remember, you should not be placing the oils on your skin ever. From the company's website directly. Strictly speaking, a certified aromatherapist would recommend that you use eye and skin protection at all times when handling essential oils. Essentials can be toxic, too. They can be harmful to skin, mucous membranes, and the eyes. Please be extremely cautious when using and handling the oils. It is also possible to breathe too much essential oils. Essential oils are very corrosive to almost anything, including plastic, paper, fabric, wood, and paint. It will harm almost anything you put it on, and in a relatively short period of time, too, so be careful. Always avoid any drop of oil getting on your things. If you spill, this is okay, but wipe up the oil correctly with a cloth or tissue, and wipe the area down with a damp towel or something to get all the essential oil off. Essential oils are dangerous to kids, children, pregnant women, the elderly, and potentially pets and other animals as well. Please be prudent, use in moderation, and be cautious when using essential oils around them. Always consult a professional as well. Yeah, you don't expect your board game to need witness symbols on it. Not that it does. And this warning is not included 
in the box. There is a small warning on the box. And that does also highlight the almost English. Like I said, there's a translation thing there. It's just the, the way the wording is done. So yes, um, nope, these are not condensed. Like they're condensed, but they are watered down. So I think that's supposed to be for a non-diluted essential oil. What these do come with, they are watered down, and I don't have the rules in front of me, but it tells you what they're watered down with. I actually There's cover that some later. medium added. I do cover that later. Okay. Uh, now that we know what you get with Aroma, how about you walk us through the various games included? So each of the four games included in Aroma use different components, plays surprisingly different from the last, and features a unique method to determine start player, while at the same time setting up the game for play. Now, what I think I'm going to do here is summarize each of the four games at a pretty high level. The first is Discover. Each player chooses a board, puts it in front of them, forming a circle. The matching scent tray to the board is placed with the scent names on the boards. The start player is determined by dropping cubes from a, the, the box height onto the board. Points are awarded for how close to the center these land. The starting player is the person who has the most points. They're going to collect five oils, and then everyone else collects five oils and put them in their tray. Now, each turn, you're going to pick an oil in your tray, smell it, and try to identify it. They're then going to pass it to the player on their left who says, yep, you got it right, or saying, no, I disagree. Now, if they agree and say, you got it right, and they're correct, you get a point. If they agree and are wrong, the active player gets the point. If they disagree and are correct, they then get to smell the oil and try to identify it. If they're correct, they get two points, but they get none if they're not. Or they can choose not to spell the oil and just take one point. Now, I think people will also quickly realize that the aroma of pure distilled oils is somewhat mm. different than what one might be used to. You might know what a lavender flower smells like, but the purified oil is just that much more intense, which can confuse the uh, slightly nasal passages. Yeah, we were having a hard time with grapefruit and orange. Those felt swapped. Like, we're like, did they label these wrong? The next game is survive. Shuffle all the oils. Place them in the center of the table with five in front of each player. Technically, it says in a cross. Shout go. Everyone grabs an oil, looks at the bottom of it to identify it, puts it in their tray, and then finds the matching aroma token and puts it above that in the tray. First player to do all five of their oils becomes start player. But everyone's still going to have to finish because that's how you set up the game. You're then going to use the back sides of the board of this game for a reference. And they just have a list of all the different scents in the different categories. Now, the goal is to be the last player standings with players being eliminated when all of the oils in front of them are identified. Each turn, you choose who to attack. You pick a scent. You try to identify. If you get it right, you take that token away. And you take the, the aroma too. You also can't attack the same player two turns in a row. Once you eliminate a player, though, you do get a second attack that turn. At least it's nice that they included a mechanism to avoid ganging up on the one poor smeller in the group. <laughs> Next is Revolve. This is actually the first one I tried. You're going to, the, the, the intro game here has nothing to do with actually setting up. It's a small dexterity game where you stack the player pieces, then you put this disc that is only in the game, as far as I can tell, for this purpose. And then starting with the yellow player, you're going to put one cube in the center of the disc. And then the next person's going to put a cube, next person get a cube. The start player is the last person to place a cube without it falling over. Kind of fun, actually, dexterity game that I shared in my Facebook feed, and people wanted to buy the game just for that. So that was amusing enough. Once that's done, you're going to shuffle all the oils. Everyone's going to take five randomly and put them in their trays. You're then going to take the leftmost oil from your tray, identify it by looking at the bottom, and put the tile that matches that face down on your board. You're then going to pass the oil to the player on your left, who then smells it. Note you'll be getting one from the player on your right. And then they're going to look through the aroma tiles and put that tile for what they think that guess is and on the board for whoever first had that oil. You keep repeating this until the oils get back to their owners, reveal all the tiles, get points for the ones you got right. Repeat this for three more oils. One of the things I like about this one is the player's fifth oil they collect at the beginning is not used. So you never have perfect information. So you can never automatically guess the last one because it's the only thing that hasn't been played yet. It's interesting that given the variety of oils present in the game with the four different groups of oils, there's mm -hmm. a level of skill just in knowing what the scent could be, mm -hmm. even if you can't specify which scent it is. At least narrowing down fruity, floral, or et cetera, gives you a fighting chance, much like yes. in uh, beer tasting games. Yeah, and there is the process of elimination. You're like, oh, this is a citrus, and we've already identified orange and grapefruit, so I wonder if this is lime. 
was definitely an aspect of the game, a meta game that came out while playing actually all of the games in Aroma. The final game is collect. Each player picks a scent type and grabs that board and all the oils for that category and puts them in front of their board in a random order. You then determine the start player, which is done by putting the box over all the aromas and then throwing your pair of player pieces at the box cover. The player piece who ends up closest to the center of the box wins and gets to go first. They then select one oil from any one player and put it in their tray. This keeps going, going clockwise until everyone has five oils. Now, remember, everyone selects a specific type. So every time I take an oil from Sean, I know I'm getting a citrus, for example. Players then mix up the oils in their trays so you don't know which is which. Each turn, a player picks an oil from another player and tries to identify it. If they're correct and it's from their category, they collect it. If they're collect correct and it's from someone else's category, they give it back but then get another turn. The winner is the first player to collect all of their five cents. Now, I haven't gotten a chance to try this one out for myself, but what are your overall thoughts on Aroma? Well, to start, I'm always looking for any game to do something totally new, whether it's using an old mechanic in a new way, combining mechanics in a way they haven't been done before, or coming up with something totally new and unique. And as far as I know, Aroma was falls into that last category of doing something totally new. So I decided to do a little bit of research on this one and digging around. And I honestly didn't expect to find much or if anything, maybe some scratch and sniff type games yeah. back in the eighties. Uh, so while I quickly found out that they weren't the first board game to use scent. And again, that okay. wasn't especially surprising. They aren't even actually the first game to use bottles of mm -hmm. scents. Uh, 30 years ago, there was a board game shipping with small perfume bottles in a game called Fragrances, okay. uh, which was a Parisian game from the per perfume manufacturers <laughs> trying to introduce people to the different components and aspects of making perfumes uh, in the game called Fragrances. So while it's been a while since anyone's done it in this manner, it isn't quite as new and unique as we had thought. Totally fair. I wonder if the, the designer of Aroma ever heard of or played fragrances, because it sounds like there might be quite a bit of overlap. Um, on the blog version of the post, I actually noted that I swear I had a scratch and sniff, a game with a scratch and sniff element. But if I remember, it was like when you land on the spot, scratch and sniff this kind of thing more to make it immersive than using the scent as a mechanic. There were there were another couple of games uh, more recently that used a um, specific patented um basically saturated paper so they took it was they right. had cards that were saturated with scent uh and those were boxed in the game but so yeah so not quite as unique as i thought now not knowing that these other games were out there when i heard there was a scent based game i had to try that out i happened to come up in a insider group i'm on facebook where the publisher was like we're looking for reviewers and i'm like oh my god i gotta try this now, once the game actually showed up, I started to be a little more skeptical, especially once I recorded our unboxing video, starting with the fact that component quality is just kind of all over the place. Now, the oils were great, right? They're in nice glass vials. It's spill proof. There's a lot of scent in each one. I don't think they're going to run out probably ever for the amount of times this game's going to get played unless you start goofing around with them, which you shouldn't do. Uh, the player boards are nice, thick card, the wooden bits are nice, the wooden cubes and the wooden player piece are nice, but the rest is just kind of tossed in there, afterthoughts, uh, feels like something my kids might have made in a, in a like, make a board game class, uh, especially the trays for holding the sense, which is pretty key to the game, like you're constantly pulling things in and out, they're just made of thin card, like thinner than a card deck box, um, I was also disappointed with how few of the scent strips they give you. For a game that's like, do not put this on your skin, they don't really give you a lot to not put it on your skin. Uh, I would say there's probably enough for maybe two plays of each game, and that's it. Yeah, I also suspect that they know perfectly well that few people are going to actually use the scent strip, because after you give it a shake, you'll just sniff the bottle or waft the bottle waft. more directly. I, I, I will neither deny nor confirm that we did that. <laughs> Along with that is the fact the game seems to have been created as an advertisement. This is basically a big box you pay for to learn about organic aromas and their line of essential oils. 
Now, my biggest problem with this is the fact that, well, yes, some scents and oils and flower-based products may have some actual medicinal curative properties. The claimed health benefits of essential oils are, I will just go so far as to say, dubious at best. Now, to be fair, their website clearly states in small print on a back page dropdown that no claims have been verified or intended, and absolutely nothing they state is to be taken literally as it's all opinion and may in fact be completely out of date. Yeah. Now, I will say, for playing the game, the only place you see these claims and the advertisement, except for the logo on the box, are those business cards. There is a business card for organic aromas with links and everything on there and what they sell and what they do. And there's a card for every single cent with its supposed properties. But there's nothing while you are playing the game that has you hear how Marigold is useful for treating acne and skin conditions, which I still find highly ironic in a game that says, don't put this on your skin. Uh, the information on the cards is included, but there's no reason to use them. Now I can see people going the first time they smell every cent reading these out. Not what I'd recommend. Now, I won't beat a dead horse here. They're selling oils that smell really pretty, and they made a game out of it. Fair enough. Game-wise, we're going to drop that. I'm going to drop the concern of, of the curative properties of essential oils, because that's not what you're doing here. You're just trying to identify them to play a game. That level, I was really impressed by this. Uh, you get four different games in this box, and they're real games. My biggest concern was this was going to show up, and it was going to be one of two things. It was going to be smell and guess the oil with like no real game to it. Just if you get it right, get a point. Or it was going to be essential oil trivia. Smell and guess the oil and then which oil is good for curing back pain. Neither of those are here, which is awesome. I, I was a little concerned. The games that are here are pretty solid. Then there's the added bonus of those start player games. I actually really love the little mini games to start each session. I honestly think designers need to pay attention to this aspect of aroma. Like try to find, especially the ones where that when you're done determining start player, all of a sudden the game's magically set up. And I'm like, that's brilliant. Like, can you imagine a game of tapestry where the first player to have their civilization and capital board picked out and your city board set up with all the thing and all your cubes on the board is the start player? Like that just sounds great. You'll have everyone rushing to get everything set up quicker than ever before. Though I do suspect that some gamers who thrive at the slow and methodical methods of their gameplay would bristle at the idea of their strategy game having a speed round. Yeah, and they'll be like, I can't be a civilization game. It has a speed round in it. Now, of all the games in Aroma, Discover was my least favorite, which makes sense. It features bluffing and, and social deduction, right? And I'm not a big bluffing fan. Of the other games, Survive was my favorite. Just something about attacking other players with their essential oils in front of them being their health was just kind of fun. That said, I'm saying these games are fun. They're neat. They're engaging. They're better than I thought. None of these are great. Like they, they all boil down to smelling oils and trying to identify them, which I will say was way harder than I expected. But there's a neat mix. Like there are four totally different games here, even though they're all just about smelling oils. And I thought that was cool. So, um, if you happen to already have a diffuser and enjoy essential oils to uh, scent up your home with and are thinking about putting the game to use after you've played, do not use these oils for that purpose. The website notes that they are not actually pure essential oils, but have been no. blended with other oils such as avocado and as such are unsuitable for use in your diffusers. Just weird because I swear the paper strips are diffusers. Like well, I they those, they're the uh, organic. Um, the they're, you put the thing in and then the scent travels. They're, up yeah, they're, they're they they've they're known for their diffusers. Uh, yeah, their, their fancy things. All right, so overall, aroma isn't the kind of game I'm going to bring out regularly. This isn't going to be a game night favorite of my Monday night group or something. I'm going to be bringing to the local game store. It's kind of like a party game in a way, like something I'm going to bring out to show off, especially to people who haven't heard of it and haven't seen it. Like, like I can see my line being, hey, check this out. Here's a board game that's about using your sense of smell. Like you're never going to see me break the aroma out at a board game blitz, though I could totally see bringing it out at 2 a.m. on an Extra Life event. Though at 2 a.m., I might actually wear gloves for, for when <laughs> things slip as you're tired and 
delirious yeah. from lack of sleep. I can totally see people chasing each other around the local game store with these. So the final thing I do feel I need to mention is the price point. This game is not cheap. It has an MSRP of $58 US. It's over 70 Canadian. Uh, well, I understand. It contains 20 essential oils and essential oils aren't cheap. But that's a lot of dollars for what amounts to four mini games. The price also makes some of those component issues I mentioned stand out a little bit more, especially those trays. Like you're giving me thin card to hold these glass bottles for that price point. So I, that's a toughie. Yeah. So all in, you're getting about 40 milliliters of fragrance in this game. They're, they're okay. two milliliter uh, you know, jars, bottles of it, which is about, $60 of product with your average 10 mil bottle being between 15 and $80 if you happen to want 10 mils of chamomile. Um, so again, that's the money is going to the oils and the yeah. jars and everything else you're getting is just kind of extra. No, oh, I still even question that because remember, these are not only essential oils. These are just still down. So you got to realize they got to be worth a little less than those 10 mil bottles. Overall, Aroma was way more fun and interesting than I thought it would be. This is just not one game that uses your sense of smell, but four distinct games that use your sense of smell, each of which is quite fun and engaging as a short diversion. Is it worth the cost, though? To be honest, that's going to be up to you to decide. And perhaps a decision if you wish to support the company selling this and other products. Fair enough. Now, if you're looking for a unique board game experience, you may want to check Aroma out. Now, where I think this game may shine, if you know someone who is a fan of essential oils and they love essential oils and they love discovering new scents and it's something they have diffusers all over their house or whatever, I think this is going to make a really cool gift for an essential oils fan. They've already, already uh, bought into the essential oils market Here's something cool they can do that they probably didn't realize exists. Now, the big thing here, though, is if you are sensitive to scents or have scent-based allergies, not only is this game not for you, you're not going to want anyone around you playing this game. And finally, I think it doesn't need to be said, based on the warnings we said earlier, this is not a game for kids. That's it for our look at Aroma from Organic Aromas. I invite you to read more about this game in the review section of the blog over at tabletopbellhop.com.